Measures of Central Tendency, Group Data, How to Find the Mean, Median, and Mode. The data represent the ages of 50 Filipino women at first marriage. Mean is equal to the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark divided by the total frequency. Where F is the frequency, capital X is the class mark or the midpoint, Fx is the product of the frequency and the class mark, summation of Fx is the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark, summation of F is the total frequency, x bar is the sample mean. To compute the mean, find the class mark. Add a column for the class marks. To find the class mark, just add the lower limit and the upper limit and divide the sum by 2. Let's start from the lowest class interval. 19 plus 21 is 40 divided by 2 is 20. The class marks are 20, 23, 26, 29, 32. Next, multiply the frequency and the class mark. Add a column for the product of the frequency and the class mark. 3 times 32 is 96. 7 times 29 is 203. 15 times 26 is 390. 12 times 23 is 276. 13 times 20 is 260. Find the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark. The sum is 1,225. Divide the sum by the total frequency. The mean is equal to 1,225 over 50. This is equal to 24.5. Now let's find the median for this group frequency distribution. To compute the median, add a column for the less than cumulative frequency. To find the values of the less than cumulative frequency, copy the frequency of the lowest class interval. Then add the frequencies successively. The frequency of the lowest class interval is 13. 13 plus 12 is 25, 25 plus 15 is 40, 40 plus 7 is 47, 47 plus 3 is 50. Using this cumulative frequency distribution, we can identify the median class. What is the median class? The median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to one half of the total frequency. One half of the total frequency is 25. In the less than cumulative frequency column, the values greater than or equal to 25 are 25, 40, 47, 50. The smallest value is 25. Our median class is 22 to 24. The median is just equal to the lower boundary of the median class plus the quantity one half of the total frequency minus the less than cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class all over the frequency of the median class times the class width. Since we already identified the median class, the lower limit of the median class is 22. The lower boundary is just 22 minus 0 0.5. This is equal to 21.5. The less than cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class is 13. The frequency of the median class is 12. The class width is 3. 
substitute the values. The median is just equal to 21.5 plus the quantity 25 minus 13 all over 12 times 3 equals 21.5 plus 12 over 12 times 3 is equal to 21.5 plus 3 which is equal to 24.5. The median is 24.5. Let's compute the mode. To compute the mode, use this formula. Mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class plus the quantity d sub 1 over d sub 1 plus d sub 2 times the class width. What is the modal class? The modal class is the class with the highest frequency. The highest frequency is 15 and the modal class is 25 to 27. The lower limit of the modal class is 25. To find the lower boundary, subtract 0.5 from 25. The lower boundary of the modal class is 24.5. D sub 1 is just the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the next lower class. 15 minus 12 is 3. D sub 2 is just the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the next upper class. 15 minus 7 is 8. D sub 1 plus D sub 2 is just 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. The class width is equal to 3. Substitute the values. Mode is equal to 24.5 plus 3 over 11 times 3 equals 24.5 plus 0 0.82. This is equal to 25.32. The mode is 25.32. Thanks for watching.